If you're looking to haul some really heavy e-bikes, the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider is gonna be the ideal one just because it has 80 pounds per bike capacity. So that's quite a bit. Also, something else to kind of think about is the other bikes that you might wanna put on here. It does have frame contact, as you can see right here, but we have two different sleeves. One is gonna be more of a rubberized sleeve, and then the other one's gonna be foam. So you don't have to worry about your bikes getting scratched up if you have a mountain bike, downhill bike, or even just a road bike. But if you do have a carbon fiber frame, it's probably not the best option for you just because it does have frame contact. But of all those things, one of the box I like to check is the tilting feature. So all we have to do is if you look down right here, there's gonna be a little pin and that pin all we have to do is just take that thing out. I did find it a little bit easier if you kind of just give it a little bit of oh, a push and it comes out pretty easy. And then we can pull this one right here and it'll tilt away. So this is gonna give us some hatch access. I don't want to limit myself by not being able to access the hatch, but it's all gonna depend on how wide your handlebars are. So right now we can get some of it open but we are going to have a little bit of contact right there but that's just going to vary from bike to bike but just know that you can still pop this open and grab whatever you need whether it's bike cables or a helmet or shoes so you can still access the back but not a lot of these platform style bike racks are gonna allow full access and this one still allows us to get into that back window so whenever we're done, we just lift it up, it snaps into place, and just kind of lift it up a little bit, we can put this pin back. So let's go ahead and take the bike off the rack. I always start with these straps that go around the wheels, just because it doesn't hold the bike upright, but it just helps with that vertical movement. And to do that, on the other side, there's just a little thing you gotta push, it's pretty easy. But notice that the strap is plenty long, so if we did wanna get some fat tire bikes on here. We are gonna be able to do that. And if you do have some pretty rims like we do on this bike, we do have a little sleeve right here. That's just gonna prevent from any scratches or anything. So you don't have to worry about that. And we're gonna have one of those on each side. So once we go ahead and take all those off, we are ready to take the bike off the rack. So it still stays upright right now, but now, we're gonna to wanna to put a hand on our bike just to make sure it doesn't fall into the Tahoe. And one thing that I suggest, whenever you're putting this thing together, there's a little screw that's gonna hold this cap on. The cap's not going anywhere. The reason why I'm saying not to put the screw in there, this way I can go ahead and take these hooks completely off like this. And this way, if you come a little closer, you'll see on the center mass, there's a little pin right here. I can pull this out. And if we have it to where it's gonna fold towards the front of the bike, we don't have any issues with clearance. This is gonna make it a lot easier to load and unload your bike. So now I can take this bike directly off the backside. And if we were to keep this upright, we would have to figure out a way to get it either over or take it off to the side. So that's just a quick little tip. I use this bike rack a lot and it just makes it so much easier to load and unload, especially if you're doing some heavier bikes. So now that the bike is off, let's take a closer look at the rack. It's got a black powder coated finish, but it's not glossy, so it's not really gonna scratch up over time. And another thing that's nice about this, it's gonna be great for a lot of those different bikes. If you do have kids bikes, we are gonna be able to adjust these cradles inward for that smaller wheelbase but for those longer downhill bikes or the mountain bikes, we can expand them out. Anything up to 60 inches in wheelbase, we're gonna be able to use with this. And notice how big the cradles are. Fat tire bikes, bikes up to five inches are gonna fit here. And they are metal, so that's kinda nice. They're not gonna fade over time. So with any type of hitch mounted accessory, we're gonna add a little bit of length. So let's take some measurements just to see how much length we're adding to the back of the Tahoe. I'm just gonna measure from the center of our bumper to the farthest point, which is our cradles. I'd say it's about 28 inches. 
but we can cut that down a little bit by using the same knobs for the tilting feature. But first you do want to either put these in your car or put them back on. And another nice thing about this is a lot of these bike racks, they don't come with locks or anything. This one does. We don't have to buy the course separately. By doing this, it's gonna make sure that your bike doesn't go anywhere. And I like that just because sometimes I'm traveling in a random city in a random state and I just wanna have the peace of mind that my bike's gonna be there when I uh, come back outside. So once we put these pins back, which they are connected by a cable, which is nice. I just lose everything all the time. You don't have to worry about losing that. We can go ahead and tilt it, fold it up, which is just the same exact knob we did before, just like that. And that's gonna cut down our length quite a bit. So from that same point on our bumper to the farthest point, which is down here by the anti-rattle, it's about 14 inches, not a whole lot of length. So I'd be confident to say I can keep this on my vehicle even if I'm in a tight parking garage or something, that's not a whole lot of length for this kind of accessory. Another thing to think about with any type of bike rack, we are going to kind of hinder our backup camera. This one's right in the center. So when the bikes are installed, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to see. But right here, we'll be able to see the bike rack, but we are gonna be able to see around. But the Tahoe does have a very good backup system. So I really don't think this is gonna be an issue at all. And one other thing, just make sure that you do have a two inch hitch receiver. With the Tahoe, it either comes equipped or that's the only size you really have to go with. So you don't really have to worry about that. But the nice thing about this is a lot of these bike racks have a threaded hitch pin. Those are just a little bit more of a pain to install. And all of them are just going to make sure that the shank and the hitch is one piece, meaning there's no rattling or anything going on. That's why we call it anti-rattle. So you'll see this little lever right here is what's allowing that. And check that out. That is all the wobble that we would usually get. But as you start to tighten this up, and I do suggest kind of rocking it back and forth while we tighten it, and now it's nice and tight. So we do get a hitch pin that goes through there. And if you come on the other side, you'll see the little locking mechanism on the other side of that hitch pin. This one comes with it as well. So we don't have to worry about not, we don't have to worry about buying one separately. I just like that when they come with it. So that's nice, it just pops on there. So your rack's gonna stay on your vehicle and then your bikes are going to stay on the rack. So that's just for peace of mind and that is something I like. They have a little cover here just so the inside of that core doesn't get all rusty. And we have two keys and it's gonna be key to like with our bikes, our bike locks up top. All in all, if you're looking for a very, very heavy duty rack, the Hollywood rack is going to be the way to go. 80 pounds for bike is pretty much the highest one of all the ones on our website. So if you like what you're hearing, this is definitely the rack for you. And that's pretty much it for a look at the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE on our 2022 Chevrolet Tahoe.